Hey guys, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program and that inspiring intro music that just means you have to go on and make greatness. Now a little bit tells me in 0.22 we have a, 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 a career option. So I thought we might do that together because, you know, I like to do things with you guys because it's good, you know. Let's play Kerbal Space Program Career Mode. Awesome. So I've had a poke around at it beforehand, just so I, I, I walk in here and I know kind of what I'm doing, not just kind of staring around going, ooh, what's this new building do? I'll tell you what this new building does. It tells you basically first how much science you've collected, which is very important, obviously, because, you know, without science there is no rocketry. And we all know that rockets need a tree to grow upon. Um, now I need, what have we got down here? Five science to get these nice bits here because at the moment all I've got are these bits and now these are nice bits there's no thrust vectoring there's no no real goodness here but we've got a fuel tank and we've got some boosters and we got we got stuff like that so I reckon we can do some serious science well at least get some serious reports because that that's what this one's up this is the uh, reportatron 5000 Blatantly um, for collecting reports because you know that's what this first bit's about. I didn't change my mission flag, I like the rings. Let's go for the rings. Rings mean science, right? 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 Yeah, or orbit. Orbit is my preferred one, really. Let's go with that one. Uh, right, so what are we doing? Ah, first off, we're making sure this guy, Jeb, gets back in one piece. Tonk, there's that mission achieved. All right, sweet, I've, I've mastered this game. Um, we need to do some science. With science, we need a way of communicating our ideas back to ground control. Um, and so I'll put that on the back here, I think. Uh, if we just give it a little twiddle upwards so it doesn't look completely like it's just been bolted on. Uh, now I do believe I haven't got any decouplers at this moment in time so I can't make it really really safe but we can make it relatively safe. Uh, we'll have one of those and one of those. Come here. There we go. I wonder why it didn't give me that. Uh, and we'll put that on its own little staging bit because we don't want it going off at the same time as the um, parachute or at least we don't want the parachute going off at the same time as the engine because that would just be like all sorts of wrong and because I'm not one for overkill <laughs> we're gonna stick a load of these on there sweet no we're not are we maybe if we um, made this a little bit bigger we could do that how's that something like that for four fuel tank rocket looks good right not a chance we're going to save it from uh, plummeting to earth badly. Earth? Turbin. I don't know what I'm on about. Okay, so, with all that uh, floundering about, I'm just double checking to make sure there's nothing that I really needed to incorporate that I haven't. So, nope, we're away for our reports. Launch. Launch. And now the loading screen of death. We were just waiting. It's like the, the, the planets at the bottom aren't even moving. I mean, what's going on? Oh, really badly set up staging here. Um, let's put that down there and that in there. Get rid of that. Make a crew report. Sweet. Uh, transmit because you get 100% of the data. Ta da! Right, that's that done. Um, are we ready? Are we set? Go! No idea where we're headed. Let's go inland. Why not? Because we're not making it to orbit. Not not with this rocket. I, I think we're all agreed on that. Uh, let's not say it can't be done. I have already seen a video where someone got this first level stuff up into uh, to orbit. That was particularly good. Um, all right. Oh. I'm thinking about my, my landing at this point in time and I tell you what, I don't think it's going to go well. Uh, there's some more science data, yes. Um, I, I didn't see which one, that was from uh, Kerbin Shores. If we're lucky we can get over the grasslands and we can make some EVA reports from the grasslands. 
over the grasslands, sweet. Because obviously we don't want to uh, oversaturate on any one particular type of science. I mean, we need to make sure there is a good broad range of all the sciences being taken care of. At the moment, all we can do is collect crew reports, so we've got to go get as many different crew reports as possible. Should have tried to possibly swing out for over the water. Um, I could have probably done quite a few different types of crew report at the same time if I'd taken the right angle. Like, possibly from there, over the water, over the grasslands, over the... Mm, oh, see now that's looking particularly uh, attractive right about now. Um, but we're, we're headed towards the mountains at this point in time. Um, Jeb is loving it as always. Let's see, let's get Jeb's eye view of what's going on. Uh, space, let's, let's see if we can't swing around. Sun, feels like we're losing control. No, 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 we're all right, we're all right. Okay, let's see what Jeb's up to. Uh, I think there's a planet. Oh, well, Jeb's got, Jeb's got a very poor view of what's going on at the moment. Let's get back down to looking over that way. Oh, hopefully we can get nice big boost on the go. What's our crew report saying here? Over the Kerbin Highlands, yes. Transmission sent. Obviously the uh, the electric charge is topping up because of my... F Dang, I've just run out of fuel because of the thing that has just run out. Um, so we're now practically worthless as the crew reports go. Um, I bet I could probably get an EVA report in before we hit, but what I'll probably save that for a Highland report. Oh, it's definitely going to take some litho breaking. <laughs> we've, we've got one parachute and a whole lot of rocket underneath it. I'm not feeling confident about surviving this. Let's try and point to our... Uh, descending node um, retrograde and let's just hope that that does something <laughs> uh, well let's just hope that these blowing up break my descent enough to save the pod you know that that is a standard Kerbal landing um, I think we could do quite well with a landing like that uh, we will definitely be able to return all the science and all the research which you know will culminate actually in just one soil sample I think we need to take a sample from the top of one of the uh, mountains at some point it could possibly be our next next little test get up on top of one of the mountains I mean we did alright there we got quite far out we got um, three three crew reports got one over the uh, one on the launch pad. He's alive! So, so all the matters. He's alive! He's alive! Let's point back up. There we go. Right, Jeb. Get out. Oh, wait. Make a crew report on landing. Uh, no. No, no, look. We'll, we'll save that when we really need it. Let's get out and make our soil sample. Ah! Oh. Oh, I didn't take a soil sample from um, the, the, the launch pad. That's a bit rubbish. There we go. Nine scientific data from the soil sample to the Kerbin Highlands. Um, EVA report. 2.4 data. Sweet. And we get back in. And we get to use my favourite... Um, well, fa favourite bit of the update. This little recover vessel here. Boom. Sweet, and we're back. That was quite a clean, clean thing there. We we needed five science. I've earned twenty-eight. I think I've just about managed my. Uh... Oh wow! Science summary for the Reportatron percent thousand. Oh well, let's do it. <laughs> hey, that was a good mission. Well done, guys. Pat yourself on the back. Yay! Let's go buy our science. No, nope, not by, not our science. By our uh, parts. Look, in particular, the science goo. All right. Da -dum. It's time to make an orbiter now, right? Surely, yeah. Hmm. Gobby. And we need to take a lot of science. Can whoa, noisy. All right, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Let's talk about propulsion. 
That right there is my space vehicle. Yeah, in agreeance. Looks like it's a good space vehicle. Uh, let's put a tri-stack decoupler on it. Do we have? No, we don't. Just seeing if we had any uh, 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 battery packs yet, but of course we don't. Um, I reckon we're gonna need one on the pad, one in the atmosphere, and one up in space. So let's go for three. Sounds like a good good set of science datas to be collected. Um, just put it on there. I reckon that would be the best look for it. Sweet. Oh, that science vessels away. I don't really need so much fuel in space, do I? Uh, let's take that off, put that there. Pull this over here and go, whoa bang Okay, that's, that's a space vehicle right there. Right, now we need a lifting stage made out of this stuff. Best of luck, guys. We may be able to build something decent. I wouldn't hold your breaths though. Do that and now I'm going to use a, a, a staging system that I saw on someone else's channel last night. And I thought, ah, it's not a bad idea. That one. And then we go take this and we pop it up here. Now I'm supposed to make these blow up just before they run out. Right, right, right. That and that. So, they go up there, and we go for the uh, science, no, no, the goo, goo orbiter, for orbiting goo, obviously, and we're going to take Jeb along because, you know, Jeb's that kind of glory seeking arsehole that wants to do all those types of things. Oh yeah, we have different f size fuel cans now. Would have made sense to use them, wouldn't it? Let's do that. Let's pull these out. Pull that out. Get rid of these. Don't want those. Want this one. Ta da! Uh, what do you reckon? Three of those? We had six of the little ones, so three of those make sense, right? And put another one on. I reckon that will uh, in no way fly out of control and kill Jeb. Hopefully. <laughs> Okay, that's looking good. Maybe slightly tall. Mm, only one way to find out, let's test it. I don't think I've commented on the, uh, the quality of the Kerbal music recently. It is very good stuff. Um, but on that, let's go. Woohoo! Uh, throttle down a lot. Oh wow, turn my SAS off. Something's unbalanced. Okay! Ah! Well, I am uh, pulling to the east constantly and it... Oh, I don't know. There, there are issues. I don't think these are unresolvable issues. Okay, we're just about to run out of fuel and pop! Oh yeah, no, that, that was that was good. I like that. That worked well. And I appear to have more more control now. I don't think we're going to get anywhere near orbit. Um, let's uh, observe some mystery goo. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. <laughs> right, we're going up, going up high. Uh, we're doing it very fast. Wow, very quickly indeed. Um, we're probably going to lose a lot of that velocity when this runs out just now. Uh, let's push that into full drive and just hope that we can, I don't know, I don't know what we can do with that, but let's hope that we can do it. I'm going to start pulling my, uh, my, my turnover. Didn't really get a goo sample on the ground, did I? So that's, oh, too far, too far. So that's going to be something interesting to be doing, um, on the way back, I think. Okay, right, I think we're on a nice stable trajectory now. We might even get up into orbit. Definitely looks like we have uh, the resources. What's my, what's my arc looking like? Pretty good. Pretty good. I need to get some sort of like on screen readout of what my apple apsis is going to be. Um, 
that is quite a useful little thing to have because um, I, I always like to if not stop thrusting at least turn fully over when my uh, apoapsis reaches up to a hundred kilometers boom because you know it's always good to have a nice uh, efficient flight if possible I'd, I never really claim to be all that efficient with my flights I am a bit of a fuel guzzler uh, as is quite blatantly obvious from my flight dynamics so I'm just planning out my routes here for some reason my uh, speech always comes a bit stilted and stuttery at these times there we go that's all I need that is the orbit that I will be happy, happy with. So let's burn through the next couple of seconds. We've got a 45 second burn, so I reckon we're going to start her off somewhere about mm, 23 seconds. <laughs> or about 19, that'll do. Why not? Now, I'm only really using this as a guide, of course, because stuff trying to do it exactly by the numbers that, that would be a headache and a half getting ready for my uh, first ever staging in this career mode probably gonna put something in quite a nasty orbit cool uh, once again I have my engine staged with my uh, my parachute that's, a, that's not really a, a good thing Watching for that beautiful moment. There. Mm, not quite. There. We have orbit. Yay! Round of applause, people. Woo! Take some science. Science taken. Do a crew report. Seems we're very much in space right now. The sky seems mostly below us. We'll transmit that because we get the full data for it. And. We get to fly our Kerbal around for the first time ever. Uh, let, let go. Uh, pull out the, the thing. Turn on some lights. Check it out, people. Science in in space. Uh, EVA report. You've recorded your observation about the situation. <laughs> We're floating. Yes. Let's see if we can get back on. Oh, or not. There we go. Grabbed it, boarded. Right, now. This always goes incredibly badly for me, but let's at least attempt to deorbit onto the space center. Something like that, I reckon. Let's whiz around the orbit and see what we got. Oh, I hate the restrictions on the um, warp speed you can get down low in there, the altitudes. Just gonna keep pushing it around. Is that even the right? Is that the right continent? Yeah, there's the islands. I have to double check every now and then. There are some deceptively similar looking land masses on this play on this planet. Alright, I reckon that's a good one. Ooh. What am I pressing? I'm pressing M. <laughs> I thought I was slowing to uh, speeding up time. Right, deorbiting station. Uh... Oh, can we make a crew report over the desert? No, in space. Um trash it for now. No point oversaturating. It's not a mistake I wish to uh, to make. Ending up getting like null values right at this early point in the game. Okay, speed through the next couple of minutes. Two, one, slowing down. Times five speed. No, times ten, why not? 
nine second burn, so I'm probably going to aim for pretty much on the nose. There's my sub orbital velocity, and there is me trying to land at the station. This may or may not work. I don't hold out high hopes, as I say, because I always misjudge this. I mean, like, is that too far? Is that not enough? Am I going to overshoot? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Only one way, really, to test this. And then we have got the ultimate test pilot behind the seat, so... There somewhere, isn't it? And speed down. I'll oh, turn my uh, my stabilisation off. And plummeting very badly. Um, perhaps oh, no, not that way, but that way. There. Ah, there goes all my fuel. Well, I can see the station. It's better than normal. Oh, turn it off. Um, my chute is catching, catching the atmosphere flare. <laughs> I'm sure that's good for it. Um, but we are plummeting in, in, in speed. In velocity, rather. I suppose we are plummeting in speed as well as our direction is down. <laughs> right. Uh, and oh god, I hate waiting for the plummet. Right, we've got to remember to observe the goo in the water. I prefer to observe it on land. Perhaps we have a small plane to build to go around all the different biomes and observe that. Oh, we can't. We can't do planes. Not yet. We don't have wheels and we don't have wings. Perhaps some sort of small lander is required to go around. Right, land down. 100 metres to go. Job's going to give a crew report. Um, yeah, crew report gone. And we're in the water. Ah, is that all my science wasted? Is it? Ah, and on that crushing disappointment of losing the goo science, guys, I'm going to call it there. Uh, thank you very much for joining me for these two mission of adventures. Um, we will come back with trying to get those goo samples done right. Uh, I don't, I don't think we can buy anything. Oh, we can buy stuff. So we'll buy something, buy two kits, in fact, and come back and try and make a better goo mission. Uh, until that time, I'm signing off. Bye bye.